Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Jason, your science buddy. Today, we're going to investigate the presence of forces on objects at rest using the pen and the book setup. Now, for the first setup, we have the following materials. We have the pen, the string, the holder, and the scissor. Now, for setup A, we're going to hang a pen by a piece of a string like this. Question number one, is the pen at rest or in motion? Now, question number two, are there forces acting on this pen? If yes, draw those forces and use arrows to indicate their direction. Second step, Using your pair of scissors, cut the string and observe what happens. Now for question number 3, what happened to the pen and what could have caused the pen's motion? For situation B, the material that we're going to use is a large book. Now for situation B, place the book on top of a table like this. Question number 4. Is the book at rest or in motion? Question number 5. Are there forces acting on the book? If yes, Draw the forces acting on the book using an arrow. For the next step, I'm going to push the book in one direction and my assistant hand here will push the book in the opposite direction with the amount of force at the same time. 3, 2, 1, There you go. For question number 6, did the book move? So how will you make the book move? In both situations, the pen and the book are both at rest. But this does not mean that there are no forces acting on them. So what do you think are the forces that acts on the pen and on the book? Thank you for participating in this activity. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below. Again, I'm your teacher Jason, your science buddy.